Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Hello, my name is Luke Hetker. I go to Monroe Elementary. My weather question is, what makes clouds move? Great question. Luke from Monroe Elementary, what makes clouds move? Well, clouds are suspended in air. Even the fog that's just above the ground is still suspended in air, so we need to get the air to move. And moving air, you define moving air, wind. Wind is defined as moving air. So it is wind that is going to make those clouds move, but it can come from different uh, situations. And so let's look at the cloud chart here showing fog being the lowest cloud, which is generally a stratus cloud that's on the ground. And then those low stratus clouds just above that, cumulus clouds, the puffy ones right in here. These are the dark gray stratus clouds. A little higher up, you get some of the alto clouds. Alto meaning mid-level. So you take a stratus cloud and you add alto to it. It's a mid-level looking stratus cloud, not nearly as dark. And then there are cirrus clouds and there's alto cirrus clouds, different kinds. But these are the levels. The higher up you go, generally the stronger wind. So the clouds that are actually moving fastest are these thin cirrus clouds here. But when you look at those in the sky, it almost looks like they're not moving at all because they're so far away, up at 25 to 35,000 feet. The low clouds, the puffy cumulus clouds, looks like they're zinging right along sometimes, actually not nearly moving as fast as the clouds above. And so it is those clouds that are moving more quickly. These are the typical clouds and lower ones near the ground that seem to moving more quickly, your typical cumulus clouds. Then there are towering cumulus clouds. Notice how it's tilted. The wind down here is not as strong as the wind up here. That's wind shear. It's stronger winds that are actually pushing the tops of the clouds off, which can actually stop the clouds from forming in certain situations, stop the storms from forming. And of course, you've got a swirling wind with this funnel cloud that was over downtown Boise a few a couple of Junes ago, uh, sliding on off to the east here. And so you've got some pretty strong winds there. And sometimes the winds blow through the clouds. The rising air makes the cloud. Then the sinking air dries out, the cloud disappears, and you have strong winds going with this ripple effect, but the clouds actually stay in one spot. So, Luke from Monroe Elementary, great question. We'll have another one coming up on Fox 9 News at 9 tomorrow evening.